Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel Anton GF. My name is Anton Garcia Fernandez and I'm coming to you from Jackson in the state of Tennessee here in the United States of America. And today I want to talk about uh, children's and young adults literature. This is a topic that has always interested me for different reasons and one of the things that I do in my free time is I write uh, a column in Spanish about American children's and young adults literature for the Barcelona-based uh, online journal uh, La Pagina Escrita, or The Written Page, uh, which is published by the Jordi Sierra y Fabra Foundation in that city in Spain. And I want to talk today about an author whose works I have written about several times for La Pagina Escrita, and I'm talking about Erin Entrada Kelly. Erin Entrada Kelly has just published a new book called Only, Only Marisol Rainey, which uh, has been issued by Green Willow Books just a couple of weeks ago, really, and um, I found it at the local library here in Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, this is the third book, the third installment in this series of books for early elementary readers with text and illustrations by Kelly herself. And this is her first time doing this for a series of books where she writes both the uh, text and does the uh, illustrations. Now, this is the third installment, the third volume in the series about the character that you can see right there, Marisol Rainey, and before that came Maybe, Maybe, Marisol Rainey, published in 2021, and then there's also Surely, Surely, Marisol Rainey, uh, 2022, that's the year when this was published, and uh, I wrote an entire column for La Pagina Escrita about this book here, Surely, Surely, Marisol Rainey. Well, now, in 2023... We have only, only Marisol Rainey. Now, to tell you a little bit about uh, this character, this uh, series of books, I'll just say that it is uh, centered around Marisol, who is right here. You also see her right here. And remember that the cover art and all the illustrations are done by Erin Entrada Kelly herself. Uh, Marisol lives with her older brother Oz and their mother, Mrs. Rainey, in a town in Louisiana. Marisol can only see her father two or three times a week when he calls on the computer because he works on an oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico. And that's the reason why Marisol refers to her father as dadhead, because her dad, well, all she can see of her dad is his head on the computer. Now, like uh, Erin Entrada Kelly herself, uh, Marisol's heritage is Filipino, and her maternal grandparents actually live in the Philippines. As I said, three installments so far. Maybe, maybe, Marisol Rainey. Surely, surely, Marisol Rainey. And now, only, only, Marisol Rainey. And this is a book, just like all of them, really, that... Um, delves into themes such as family, friendship, relationships at school. Most of all, uh, Marisol is constantly striving to face her fears, trying to overcome her fears, and growing up in the process. For example, in the second installment, Surely, Surely, Marisol Rainey, um, Marisol is worried about not being good at physical education, at sports, particularly kickball, and uh, that is something that she has to deal with. Uh, all of these books, including Only, Only, Marisol Rainey, when it comes to style, these are books that are um, organized in short chapters uh, with short sentences, uh, told in a very dynamic, engaging style uh, that keeps the interest of readers from the very first page. Let me uh, read you the very beginning of this new 
um, installment in the series, Only Only Marisol Rainey. The first chapter is called Ginny, and Ginny is Marisol Rainey's bike because Marisol always gives names to things that are important for her, including her bike, and her bike's name is Ginny. And the very first page says, Marisol Rainey can do many things, but she's not good at all of them. She can jump, but not very high. She can run, but not very fast. She can throw, but not very far. And here we see Marisol Rainey trying to throw, and a squirrel says, not very far. <laughs> so as you can see, the text and the uh, illustrations are very much interrelated. And then in the second page, we can read Mary Saul is a good hula hooper, an okay mathematician, and a so-so speller. But if there is one area in which Mary Saul Rainey excels, it's bike riding. And there we see her thinking that she could, if she wanted to, ride her bike all the way to the Philippines. Anyway, uh, as you can see, short sentences. There's also, as I said before, short chapters. The style is dynamic. It's engaging. It keeps the interest of both adult and young readers. And um, Aaron and Trata Kelly, I believe, understands the psychology of kids in Marisol's age group. Uh, this is a book um, that is targeted at audiences uh, age, ages 7, 8, 9, 10, something like that. And that's around the uh, age of Marisol herself. What she does, Erin and Trata Kelly, is not that she only that she understands the psychology of kids in Marisol's age group, but she also focalizes the narrative through the limited perspective of Marisol. And therefore, we get uh, direct access to Marisol's thoughts, views, fears. In short, we see the world through Marisol's perspective, and we are witnesses to her efforts to overcome her fears. And we can see how she evolves. We can witness her relationships with other characters, like her brother and her mother, uh, with friends like Jada, her best friend, and Felix, or also relationships with other characters like, um, uh, well, somebody that doesn't seem to like Marisol very much, her nemesis, Evie. Now, all of this you're going to find in Maybe Maybe Marisol Rainey. You'll find it as well in Shirley, Shirley Marisol Rainey, and here in this newest installment, Only, Only Marisol Rainey. But the thematic elements of this third installment in the series, Only, Only Marisol Rainey, if I had to name a few, the most important ones would be the following. Well, first of all, Marisol, in this case, is attempting to overcome her fear of dogs. But also learning how to interact safely with dogs. What happens at the beginning of this book is that a neighborhood German shepherd that Marisol is very much frightened of, his real name is Gregory, she does know this, and before she understands or knows what the dog's real name is, she calls the dog Daggers, <laughs> uh, but his real name really is Gregory. This is an older German shepherd, but Marisol is very much frightened of him. And at the beginning of this book, the German shepherd gets lost. And Marisol is, of course, afraid to run into him. So we see how the fact that this dog that she's afraid of uh, is now lost and uh, running about the neighborhood and she doesn't know where the dog is, how this impacts what she does in her life, how this impacts her daily routine, and how afraid of this dog she really is. Um, so overcoming her fear of dogs, but also learning how to interact safely with dogs, this is one of uh, the themes in, in this book. If you can see, um, that's Gregory right there, who um, has been 
uh, lost and uh, we can see that you know the fact that the dog is lost uh, makes um, Marisol um, afraid of the dog that supposedly is a very friendly dog and there it says voted most friendly but the dog in Marisol's mind says I would never eat my friends only strangers so uh, we can see how she deals with this fear and how you know part of this fear has to do with um, things that she's thinking about you know it's 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 not necessarily based on reality but it is based on you know some of the fears that she already has that are ingrained in her and uh, this makes her uh, think of this dog in um, a different way she is afraid of the dog and that's the way the dog looks to her the dog is imposing and she feels like this dog is um, dangerous daggers has sharp teeth daggers has angry eyebrows daggers is very big with pointy ears daggers never moves when they ride by they he just stares and stares and drools like he's wondering how he can get them into his food dish in short daggers is d-a-n-g-e-r-o-u-s that is dangerous uh, there's a lot of humor though in the way that all of this is presented by means of the uh, drawings not only uh, when we can actually hear uh, daggers say that he only eats strangers and not his friends but then uh, a little bit later on we can actually see that uh, Marisol is afraid that um, daggers is going to attack her or eat her and we have daggers sitting at the table there waiting to eat and uh, it says today's special children so as we can see uh, we can access Marisol's thoughts by means of how the narrator is telling us the story because we have direct access to her thoughts since everything is focalized through Marisol but then we also have uh, this graphic material we also have these drawings these illustrations that uh, sometimes in a humorous way um, uh, give us even more information about the way um, that Marisol feels but then you know because the theme is not simply that Marisol has to overcome her fear of dogs but also learn she also has, she also has to learn how to interact sa safely with dogs we have for example this um, section here these two pages where uh, we are told about how to introduce yourself to a dog and this is explained by means of text those bubbles there but also drawings so again the text and the illustrations are very important in this book this new book by Aaron and Trada Kelly just like it is in um, the rest of um, books in this uh, series now another theme is or has to do with the process of teaching because Marisol wants to teach her friend Felix to ride a bike Felix lives with his grandmother and has never been taught to ride a bike and so uh, Marisol who's really good at riding bikes as has been established um, takes it upon herself to offer to uh, teach Felix how to ride a bike and of course she realizes that teaching is an activity full of difficulties that she has to learn to overcome this idea that teaching is not easy and that teaching requires certain practice uh, requires uh, uh, quite a bit of forethought before you actually uh, teach somebody something even if in this case we're talking about something practical like riding a bike now another theme has to do with how to deal with close friendships Jada is Marisol's best friend 
But Marisol's teaching Felix how to ride a bike is perceived as some sort of a threat to their friendship by Jada. How is Marisol going to um, deal with that? How is she going to make sure that even though she is spending time teaching Felix how to ride a bike, Jada, her best friend, is not going to feel left out? All of this, again, told from the point of view of the main character, Marisol Rainey herself. And then finally, Marisol gets the chance in the story to realize that uh, people with whom uh, she doesn't get along, in this case, Evie, people with whom she doesn't get along may also have moments of difficulties and hardships and some sort of trauma in their lives. And how do we deal with that? What is the best way or in what ways can we uh, feel sympathetic towards somebody that has been bullying us or who has not been nice to us, at least. Um, But these people, in this case, Evie, uh, these people are undergoing some traumatic experience or something difficult in their lives. So, as you can see, um, all of these uh, themes are a part of this new installment in the Marisol Rainey series uh, by Erin Entrada uh, Kelly. And Kelly herself, in these three books, has taken care of the illustrations. And the illustrations are fresh, humorous, as we have seen, compassionate, engaging, sometimes comic book-like, Uh, And they really uh, complement the text. They give voice to Marisol's thoughts and ideas and fears and questions. Because, uh, you know, sometimes uh, this is Marisol on the computer. That's the way that her father sees her from his uh, oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico. There's dad head (laughs) as well. Um, But... mm, Marisol is, um, you know, a character that is uh, always full of different questions. And this is clear when it comes to um, the text. If we read the text, we realize that Marisol is constantly thinking about things and she constantly has questions. Uh, But we can also see it in or as part of the drawings. Marisol's thoughts right there. She's in bed with her stuffed animals, all of uh, which have names, and then uh, her cat is there as well. Um, The uh, name of the cat is Beans. And there we have lots of different what-ifs that she's thinking about and are keeping her from sleeping. What if the dog chases me when I ride my bike? What if Uh, The dog finds Jada or Mom or Oz when they're outside, and so on. So, again, um, it is very important to realize that these really interesting drawings by Kelly herself complement the text and are part of the way the story is told. So this this story is told both by means of language, but also by means of this graphic material. And this is something that Erin and Trata Kelly does um, really well. Don't forget that, as uh, the book clearly tells us, Erin and Trata Kelly was awarded the Newbery Medal for Hello Universe. That's another book that I wrote about in my uh, Spanish language column for La Pagina Escrita. And she also received a Newbery Honor for We Dream of space. And if you would like to um, find out more about Erin and Trata Kelly, well, she's on Twitter, she's on Instagram, but she, but you can also go uh, to her uh, homepage and visit her website, erinentratakelly.com. So uh, my intention with uh, this short video is to make people out there aware of the existence of the uh, Marisol Rainey series. And as you can see, 
So far, we have three volumes in this series, uh, published by Gr Green Willow Books. Maybe, maybe, Marisol Rainey, uh, Surely, Surely, Marisol Rainey, and the newest one that just came out a few uh, weeks ago, Only, Only, Marisol Rainey. And these three books really are a good example, among many, of what I always think of as good children's or good young adults' literature. Uh, and that is the kind of literature which is written with kids, with young adults as a main target audience, but this is a series of books that can be enjoyed by both children and adults because there's different ways of reading these texts. A kid will find a certain meaning. For example, my daughter, Libby, loves these books and enjoys reading them. And she loves the stories and she loves the drawings and she has questions, just like Marisol Rainey. And that's good. An adult will read these books and find different elements. Not necessarily deeper, but different. The book can be read by children, young adults, and adults alike, and they will find different content in books like this. So, uh, in closing, I would like to recommend that everyone out there will check out any book by Aaron and Trada Kelly, and particularly these three books in the series of Marisol Rainey. Maybe, maybe Marisol Rainey from 2021. Surely, surely Marisol Rainey from 2022. And only, only Marisol Rainey, which just came out a few weeks ago in this year of 2023. And it says at the very end, as you can see there, be on the lookout for more adventures with Marisol. And there you have daggers. Well, actually, Gregory, <laughs> Jada, Marisol, and Felix. This is Anton Garcia Fernandez uh, signing off from Jackson in the state of Tennessee here in the United States of uh, America. I hope you will have found this uh, video interesting. I uh, really recommend, I urge you to um, look for, seek out, and read any book by Aaron Entrada Kelly. And if you have read any, just leave co comments underneath. What do you think about these Marisol Rainey um, series of books or any of the other um, excellent uh, volumes that have already been published uh, by one of the most interesting uh, authors today in the United States of America when it comes to children's and young adults literature? That's Aaron Entrada Kelly. Thank you very much uh, for uh, watching. This has been a new video in the uh, series of videos uh, of The Written Page. My name is Anton Garcia Fernandez. Mine is the copyright of this video, which was uh, recorded in Jackson in the state of Tennessee in the United States of America at the very beginning of the month of June of 2023. Thank you very much for watching, and so long, everybody.